What's that? Yo! <laughs> <laughs> this is the Singles Club. This is Fact Singles Club with Powell and Russell Haswell. We're getting married. You like, girl, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. I mean, that's just an absolutely just abomination, isn't it, really? I was going to ask you what kind of music it was. Is it UK Garage or something? <laughs> it's clearly got pitch and voice vocal enhancements. Well, I've lived in Suffolk for over 10 years, and Ed Sheeran used to, was local to the pub that I used to drink in. So. And you have got a few of his and records. And there's pictures so. of all of him in the pub, you know? No, I think the people that probably were listening to Ed Sheeran do his kind of X Factor, I've got a guitar kind of thing, and now going, oh wow, he's gone UK Garage. Russ's UK Garage reference is spot on there. You know, it's, <laughs> it could be a crime against humanity. Burn all copies. Burn all copies, yeah. It sounded it like somebody, more, somebody's demo to me. A bit more confident, they haven't quite, yeah, yeah, yeah. They haven't quite worked out what they were going to do. I quite like it because it reminds me a little bit of... Uh, Contemporary going to, music. Well, going to like Ford and stuff in like 2005. It feels like it might have been made in London or Bristol or something, I reckon. It sounded too simple, uh, not minimalistic, just too simple. Familiar with all the sounds. I don't know, I'll, I'll give it a two. I like it. I'm just worried it's going to be one of my friends. <laughs> I must try harder. Sorry, you know, stick to one drum sound. Definitely not my favourite Aphex track, that one. I did think it sounded a bit Cabaret Voltaire in the sort of, I guess, early 80s. I don't know, it does sound like Richard in a way. So Russell knows Richard really well, so I've sort of emailed Richard a little bit because Russ hooked us up. So Richard had warned me that he was thinking of playing some of my stuff. Uh, it was the only track in the whole set where everyone stopped dancing, so um, I gave Aphex a three. <laughs> I can't a find chod. my seven. Give him a chod. I wanted to go seven. I'm going to go seven. <laughs> I personally, I, I don't know, I, have a, I don't like that at all. I have a real issue with that, that kind of music. It's just, it always sounds the same. It's just like a different rapper. It sounded just like, like a, a track It's just the like same yesterday. kick, same, is it trappy sort of, I don't know what that is, R&B or fucking hip hop or whatever, but it's just the same sounds in every track. Boom. I mean, this is such a missed opportunity when you're making a track to actually say yeah, something different. Belly thing, though. But do something else, but it's just that whole trap thing that kids are into I these days. I think there's is a, min a minimalism associated with it, or a laziness. <laughs> well, people are really into that kind of stuff, so, uh, but I've just never understood why. And there's just such a generic stream of stuff in that vein that it's just impossible to decipher what's meaningful. Well, I've got no idea who it is, I'm and I don't know what they're rapping about. But uh. I'm going to use my chod card. I'm going to give it a, a, a five because I haven't got a clue. I don't want to offend anyone. And, you know, they'll probably shoot me when I go to America. So uh, I'm sure they're great guys. You see, all of this is above my head. I don't know any of these people or what's going on, really. So You know what a meme is. <laughs> 